we're getting closer to getting all the painting done. Uh, as you see, we've already got the uh, dining section done, uh, the upper part of the kitchen done. We've got this one little section right here and the lower part of the uh, kitchen uh, to get done. And we'll probably get done with those today. And then we'll start working on the other rooms like the bathroom and the bedroom. down to the last part of the living area which is right here above the sofa uh, we're gonna paint that too I have to say the hardest part about this has been getting these blinds down the blinds are blocking the screws to the cornice which I have to take down before I can paint so <laughs> these blinds have been really difficult to get down of the uh, cabinets in the living area are done. While the paint's drying in the living area, I'm trying to get the bedroom ready to be painted and we're going to take the cornices down in here as well. You got to get the blinds out before you can unscrew the cornice to take it down. So you got to take the blinds down first. You got to take these curtain things down before you can get to the blinds. It's a rigorous process, but uh, it has to be done because uh, we definitely do not want these in here. Something a little nifty that I uh, was able to come up with, those uh, curtain holders that came out of the bedroom uh, reposition them here in the bathroom to hold the broom and dustpan uh, so they won't go anywhere when we're moving. All right, uh, we're ready to do a little bit more painting today. Uh, we've already started decorating in the uh, living area as you can see. Uh, but we are going to paint these doors to complete the area. And we are working on the doors. Uh, took the door out of the uh, bathroom and the closet we're going to be uh, painting those and letting all that match up as well I cannot believe how nice it feels today I mean the weather just did a total about face I mean total turnaround uh, 
in the weather because it was freezing last week. It was so cold last week that they canceled my trip. But now uh, I'm out here in a short sleeve shirt and enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. Here's the doors that we're painting. This is the door to the bathroom and that's the door to the closet. And uh, about ready for their second coat. strangest weather here in North Carolina. Just last week this place was covered in snow and now I'm in a short sleeve shirt. And uh, I'm going to show you some more uh, things that we're doing here in the camper. Okay, first of all this is the floor that we're going to be using here in the camper uh, but that's not really what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you is uh, this cabinet back here. Um, this is where the water pump is. And it's a very nice big space under here, but we didn't want to set anything on top of the, you know, anything that could uh, fall on top of the water pump. So uh, we came up with a solution. Here we go. Uh, I was able to take a few little blocks of wood and uh, put together a shelf to cover up the water pump so that I can still get to it when I need to, but if we need to use this area for storage, uh, this uh, opens up a lot more possibilities so we can set more stuff in there without affecting the uh, water pump. And uh, over here, we uh, added something else too. We took out the table, though we still have it and we're still gonna use it. Uh, we wanted another option to expand the seating in here since it's going to be four of us living in here um, so I um, put this board in there and we're gonna have another cushion that goes across the back and then another cushion that sits on that board and we're just going to turn this into a lounge area uh, so that the kids can sit and watch TV uh, over here in this area too as you know, I've been working on this camper for weeks now, uh, as far as the painting goes. But I've been using the same paint brushes and rollers this whole time uh, without even having to rinse them out because I learned this uh, neat little trick from a professional painter a while back. Uh, if you're not gonna finish your job, you just wrap it up in a plastic bag and wrap it up real tight and the paint stays wet inside the bag on your brush just like it would if it was in the can. So uh, every evening when I'm done painting for the day, I just wrap my brushes up in a plastic bag. And then when I'm ready to get started again, I just pull them out and the paint's still there and the paint's still wet on the brush. beautiful beautiful weather we're having in North Carolina right now nice cool breeze it's not cold it's not too hot it's perfect today and uh, it's a great day to be outside uh, this is one of the things I love about North Carolina uh, another day at work in the camper and today we painted the uh, doors we completed the entire living area, and since I was at it already, I went ahead and did the bathroom cabinets as well. <laughs> 